Today in this video I'm going to show you how to create a kill switch in Windows 10. Here's how to create a kill switch in Windows 10 to cut your internet connection instantly. Knowing how to create a kill switch in Windows could, ironically, prove to be a lifesaver. If something suspicious starts happening on your internet connected computer, kill switch isn't an official Windows term, but many VPN services offer a feature of that. Name. This automatically takes you offline when you lose your encrypted connection to a VPN server, so that you're not left unprotected. On a Windows PC, triggering a custom kill switch can cut your connection instantly if you think your machine is under attack. Perhaps it started downloading malware, displaying pop-up ads, or is even being used as part of a botnet. A kill switch also has more innocuous uses. You could use it, for example, to prevent a large file from being uploaded, or an embarrassing email being sent, or to cancel an inconvenient update. Think of it as a panic button that saves you having to pull out network cables or switch off your router to disconnect from the net. We'll explain how to create a kill switch in Windows using a special shortcut. This can be activated with a single mouse click or by pressing a keyboard shortcut to take you offline immediately should the need arise. You can also create a shortcut to reconnect to get back online once the panic is over. There's no inbuilt Windows option to create a kill switch. However, you can get around this by creating a shortcut that disables your network adapter and disconnects your PC from the internet. Open the Windows 10 settings app either by clicking the start button and clicking the settings gear icon or by pressing the Windows key plus I on your keyboard. When the settings window opens, click network and internet in the network status section on the right, note the name of the network adapter that's currently connecting your PC to the internet. For wired connections, this should be Ethernet, and for wireless ones Wi-Fi, though. Your exact adapter name may differ. Close or minimize the settings box and right-click a blank area of your desktop. Select New, then Shortcut. When the Create Shortcut box opens, copy the and paste the following into the location box next to the Browse button. This command will be given in the description box. But if your computer is connected to the Wi-Fi network, then you replace the Ethernet connection and enter Wi-Fi. My computer is connected to Ethernet, so I will add Ethernet. If Windows isn't installed on your C drive, you'll need to change that drive letter. 2. Click Next and change the name of the kill switch shortcut to something more recognizable, such as Internet Off, Disconnect or just plain old kill switch. Click Finish to confirm and create the shortcut, which will appear on your desktop. Don't click it yet though. How to set up a kill switch in Windows. Customize the shortcut. Right-click your new shortcut and choose Properties from the context menu. When the Properties box opens, click Change icon. You'll now see a message saying that the file contains no icons. Click OK to dismiss this. And the Change icon box will open. Select a suitable icon to use for your kill switch shortcut, such as an off button or no entry sign, then click OK. Finally, because turning off a network adapter requires administrator privileges, you'll need to tweak your kill switch accordingly. Click the Advanced button and check the box to run as administrator, then click OK. Click OK to save the changes to your kill switch. You can now drag and pin the shortcut to your taskbar for easy, one-click access. However, refrain from clicking it yet, you'll first need to create a reconnect switch. Once you've used your kill switch to disconnect from the internet, you'll next need to know how to reconnect after the emergency is over. Prepare for this by creating another shortcut that gets you back online. We'll explain how to create a reconnect internet. Repeat steps 1 to 3 in the first section above. When you get to the create shortcut, Stage in step 4, copy and paste the following into the location box. The second command will be given in the description box. Just copy and paste it here. Name the shortcut reconnect, internet on, or something similarly recognizable, then click finish to create it. As explained in the previous section, you can customize the shortcuts icon by right-clicking it and choosing properties, then change icon. Choose a suitable icon such as a power on button or a green check mark. Don't forget to grant administrator access too by clicking advanced and selecting that option. Click OK to save your settings and exit the properties box. Test your kill switch finally. You should make sure your kill switch works properly. So, 
You can disconnect from the internet immediately when disaster strikes. Here's how to test a shortcut, as well as how to quickly get back online if your reconnect shortcut fails. To test that your kill switch works, either double-click its icon on your desktop. A user account control prompt will open, asking if you're sure you want to allow this app. To make changes to your device, this warning adds an extra step to your kill switch, but it also prevents you from triggering it accidentally. Click yes to continue. Your kill switch will now disable your network adapter and terminate your internet. Connection you can go to settings and go to network and internet and see your network is completely disabled. To enable the network adapter again, just click or double click your reconnect icon. The network will be enabled as soon as the reconnect icon is clicked. Go to settings again and go to network and internet options to see if your internet connection is enabled. If something goes wrong and you can't get back online using your shortcut, don't panic. Just go to settings, network, and internet and select change adapter options. Double click your network adapter to re-enable it and reconnect to the internet. Now you're all prepared to quickly cut your internet connection when something worrying occurs on your PC. I hope this video helped you. Please share it with your friends also. If you have any doubts related to this, let us know in the comment box below. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.